In this video, we're going to quickly talk about boxing layers and decisional templates. The video has been created personally for a customer, so it does include some other tasks, but I thought I'd include it just for your benefits. I've been given a typical section uh, for a road job, and um, I'll quickly explain what's going on. Um, there's an existing uh, dirt road, and basically they're, uh, they're building a new pavement structure on top of it, um, and there's a basically a 600 mil cut of the existing road that takes place first. So I'm just gonna show you how that takes place. So I suspect the video is gonna be a little bit too long, so I'm gonna break the YouTube video into three parts. Part one will be the uh, undercut material, which is this part here. Uh, the video two will be uh, creating boxing layers um, from the design surface, so I mean boxing layer one, boxing layer two. And finally, the uh, decisional templates, which is gonna be this part here, because asking for a couple of variables in there, which are uh, which is a little bit complicated. I've been given a center line by the surveyor um, and it's been converted to a super alignment. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna translate that string 600 mil lower. So I've actually got the uh, design alignment on there actually. So I'm just gonna put my survey center line in. And basically the super alignments can't be translated using the uh, string edit translate command. You basically have to duplicate it first and then use the internal translate tools. So to duplicate the string, we just go string edit, duplicate. Um, if you middle mouse click and click on the string, um, it brings up the existing model that you, you're duplicating and I'm just gonna minus that by 600 mil. Click start, click the string and now that string's been translated. So I'm gonna basically drop the string that's been duplicated. We're then gonna to go to the string editor, click on the string, and you see that it's draped on, it's on the existing surface there. So we're gonna go move VIPs, move vertical parts, and we're gonna get start point, end part, and we're gonna go move heights, and we're gonna go minus 0.6. and you see it's been dropped down by 600 mil. So just to repeat what I'm doing here, what I've done is the existing center line, which is on this road center line, I've dropped it down 600 mil. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a template from this point, both left and right hand side. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, interface with the existing surface at these two points here and here. So to do this, I've just created a template. This is called uh, undercut. And basically it's just a, it just has a width, of, a width of one and a height of zero. Uh, and then we have uh, just got to apply that template. Uh, we need to modify it, so I'm using the apply templates function. And, and basically, I won't go into to all the details into this, but I've hit apply. And I'll basically turn those strings on, string sections on, and basically it's just a simple template left and right of the center line. So I'm just gonna take a quick section of one of the cross sections to show that one meter, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna modify this width to interface with the tin, or I'm actually gonna, in some instances where, the, where there's a road intersection, I'm gonna modify the width to interface with a string. So to do that, we go to apply many, MTF, undercut model, open and then we go to modifiers and I'm just going to turn all mine on, on turn all mine back on first to show you what the effect is and I'll, I'll, I'll explain what it's actually doing so hit apply and now when you see the um, the modifiers you see that that string now has actually moved now it's interfacing with the tin so I'll show you explain what's going on in this first modifier, I'm modifying the, the string you see, which is which is this string here, and I'm modifying the type to interface with. I'm modifying the width, height held. So there's other options here, but I'm modifying the width and the heights being held, and it's interfacing with this tin. It's starting. I mean, it could start at a chainage. I'm starting at the reference of the my super alignment, and I'm ending actually at. Um, the road intersection that I've got here. 
and it's basically ending at this point here. So my next modifier is looking for a string. I'll just explain what's going on here. Um, basically what I'm doing is I'm modifying the same length that you see. I'm changing the width and I'm basically looking for a string which is this blue line. I haven't got it on. I'm basically looking for this string here to modify the width to string, which is it, this part here. But basically what I'm doing is I'm, I mean this could be a change, but I'm actually looking for to end the template at the start of this string and end at this string as well. And basically if you take a section of that, you'll see that it's modifying the width to this blue string here. So basically I've done the same for the right hand side. It's a little bit more detailed on the right hand side because there's more um, road intersections. But I'll just turn them all back on to show you the effect. And now you'll see uh, that that undercut now is complete right the way along the road. See these road intersections with the strings. Some are tins, some are strings. Oh. I'm missing one there. Oh, this one here. And basically the effect of the apply mini, I've actually created a, a surface from that apply mini. Uh, I'll just show you that tin undercut. So it's created a surface for that undercut. So now if I take a section along anywhere along if I was to turn on that tin which is that undercut tin you'll see that there's a tin um, been created a separate tin so now we can see how much uh, the volume for, un for the undercut is um, I basically forgot to check the surface so this, this tin is obviously the existing surface and basically what we're going to determine is how much of that material is being removed as part of this undercut so once I hit apply, you can see that there's 13,077 cubic meters of, of cut that's being removed as part of the, the undercut process, part of, as part of this undercut process. And finally, because um, my new road that I'm building is going to be measuring volumes against the undercut, um, undercut surface, I'm going to create a super tin which basically will follow the existing surface up until this undercut and then basically run along this point and then basically tie in back with the intersection. So I'm just going to do that now. So to do that, I'm going to create a super tin, tin create super tin. Uh, I'm going to combine surfaces of the existing surface and the undercut, undercut. I'm just going to make it an old color so we know which one we're looking at. Uh, let's go, it's gray here. So if we go using ground and the undercut model, uh, undercut design, I'll show you the effect. If I take a section through there now, so we've got the undercut there and then we've got the existing surface in the undercut. Now if I turn on my super tin, You'll see I've created a combined surface now. So um, when we were measuring volumes, we'll now measure against this undercut volume.